I go deeper than the graves with a very the foot and mouth sheep. Take a look at my mind, take a peep. Go smile when you sleep. Cause Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully you can hear us because this wind is howling. I'm out with my old pals, Pinpointer Paul, Jimbo. Uh, we are going to do our usual thing. We're going to have a good hunt about, see what we find, let you know what we find, have our usual little competition. But either way, guys, you know how it goes. We will see you on the first. I'm with my old pal, Jimbo. There he is. Um, we're just strolling along, chewing the fat, having a little bit of a catch up because we ain't seen each other for a couple of weeks. Um, because I missed the beach one last week. And we've just had a beautiful uh, little signal down here. Um, and I've gone, well, I don't think it's a pound coin because it's only an 86. And then Jim has just said to me that this new V11, Jim, yeah. um, he reckons they're two digits down. So an 86 could still be a pound coin. So it's quite tight. So we'll have a little look. Pound coin or better is what we're saying, Jim. Isn't it? £2 coin. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Let's hope it's not overly deep. Oh, maybe I've just missed it slightly. <laughs> Story of my life, that is, isn't it? <laughs> no, that is still in there. Okay, I'll be a little ring to start. That'd be nice, Jim, wouldn't it? It would. We'll take a pound coin, though. We will take a pound, won't we, Jim? So you will, I won't. is here. That can't be a pa There, I'll see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, she is a pound, so they're 86s now then, yeah. Jim. 20p's coming at 17. Right. So we've got to take two digits off all our yeah. coin numbers, basically. 50s and 10s coming at 67. Right. We'll take that, though, guys. Little pound to start. See you on the next. Uh, we are back on with a little 80. Sounding quite nice. Reasonably tight. Let's have a look. Hopefully not too deep. We are at, and we are here. Oh, and we are a good old copper tack. Sound nice, see it a bit. Right, here we go, guys. There's your bit of nature. Nice little jellyfish. I'll see you in a bit. After your little bit of nature with the jellyfish, we've got a little, little 61. Quite tight. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look-see, see what we got. I got me back to the wind, so you should be all right still. Right, we're out. Don't get me wrong, could be a coke ball and it could be a ring pull. Uh, like we say, with these, with the new settings, I'm on the V11, um, I'm on a magnet, so it can bring up all sorts of crap. Uh, but we'll have a look. Looking like coke ball. No, we're a good old ring pull. There you go, ring pull, 61. See you in a bit. Uh, could be a little um, nail, but... Could be deep can, but could be pound coin. Come on. Right, we're out. Come on, be a pound. Hey, oh, yeah, our fresh drop. We'll take that. They all go in the pot, they all count. It's been hard work so far. 
we will see you on the next. Still. All right, guys, we're on and we've got Fred. Um, now, I always learn from old boys who have been old on boys, the... Old boys, you bum. Old boys, <laughs> old decent detectorists. <laughs> I'll edit it. All right, Fred, don't worry. Right, I always take notice from wise detectorists um, because he's been at it a good few years. He's on the D2, he's on the 13 coil, um, and he's had plenty of rings out, and he's had a couple today. So he's going to show me his nice one, and uh, I'll give you guys a look. But we think it's a bit of gold and a bit of silver thread, don't we? Indeed. It might even have a few diamonds in it. Oh, I'll tell you what, we like a ring, mate, down the beach. Here you go, guys. Lovely. And that, how long have you been going, Fred, down here today? A couple of hours. A couple of hours. Um, and that's his second one. So, but look at that. We're thinking this bit is gold. Um, so we're thinking a couple of bits of gold, Fred, don't we? Oh, I think we and are. And a bit of silver. And it, it looks like it's got a couple of little stones in there, which we're thinking might be a little diamond chip. But either way, he's on the rings. The bleeper's got to catch up. <laughs> See you in a bit, guys. Thanks for that, Fred. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah. Best of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Uh, this one, guys, a little 90, but it's quite deep. Mm, if anything, I just don't believe it, but we'll see. But it's quite deep. So we'll see what happens. We'll take a few little spoonfuls out and see if it cleans it up a touch. Mm, this is proper deep. Come on. Yeah, this is going to be a deep one. I'm sounding a little bit moody now. Let's have a look. Get another spoonful out and see where we're at. I'll have it down in that bit now though. That's it, come on. Let's have it out. Come on. We are out. And we could be a copper tack. I bloody hope not. Come on, be a little pound, or better. Well, what have we here? No, we've got ourselves, it looks like a toasted two. I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, there she is. There she is, give her a clean up, a little bit of sand, a little bit of rub. And you'd be surprised. Yeah, so it goes from toasted to not too bad a condition. And the other side, look, that was green a minute ago. Yep, it's another coin and it goes in the pot. See you in a bit. Hi guys, it is that time of the night. Well, it's about quarter past half past ten, if anything. So we're a bit past that time of the night, but we on a break. Uh, it's been hard work, hasn't it, boys? Very hard work. Yeah, it is. But we haven't blanked, have we? No, we haven't. We ain't blanked, and we're still going to perhaps do a little bit more. We're not really feeling it now. Like I say, it's getting on a bit. We might do another half hour, mightn't we? We may not. Yeah, we no, might, no, we no, may no, not. No. We don't know yet. But what we do know is we've got our exercise. We've met up, we've had a chat, we've had a laugh like we always do, and we're happy, boys, aren't we? Yep. And we will see you at the little roundup. We're not going to tell you who's winning at the moment, but you know how it goes. Is it Jimbo? <laughs> Is it Paul? <laughs> Is it me? 
unlikely. But you never know your luck, boys, do we? It ain't quite over yet, but we're on last knockings. Take care, and we will see you at the roundup. See you in a bit. Well, we're on with Jimbo, guys. He's had a little signal, and he might actually pull something out. He might not, but he might. Yep. We we got Jimbo. What was your number, we mate? Have, we have twenty-two. Oh, we we'll take that. So, what number was that, Jim? It was sixty-nine seventy. Twenty-two. Crush the little twenty p for Jimbo and Paul's over there. So let's do a little double ola. You're not sure, mate. You can carry on walking through there now, Paul. Yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> oh, 5p. And a little 5p for Paul. And that must have been a little 57, was it, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. There you go, guys. Two coins, two owls. See you in a bit. Hi, guys. It is that time of the night. And we, without being too loud, are back at the motor. Well, no, we ain't. We're back at the boozer. The motor's over there. Don't worry about that. Uh, it ain't been a bad night, boys, has it? Nah, it's been challenging. Eh? It, it's been challenging. And we again, we've covered the mileage, haven't we? Uh, after our break, to be fair, we've probably done a little 15, 20 minutes. Uh, try to top up our little fines. I think Paul managed to top his up a little bit. I think you had another coin, yeah, Jim, didn't you? So... It, Everyone's topped up. I had a few more ring pulls just to add to my ring pull collection. Uh, but yeah, it's been a good night, guys, and we've enjoyed it. But guess what? We'll be back next week to do it all again. We love it. Um, we're not going to hang around too long, but I will do a little roundup for you, and we will show you the winner of our little weekly competition. And today's prize goes to Jimbo. Well done, Jim. He's done well. Uh, so yeah, we're spin round. And we're shade around up. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. And we will see you next time we're out having a dig. See you soon. All right, well, here we go, guys. We're going with a roundup. And I'll tell you what, let's start with uh, Pinpointer Paul's and mine. Uh, because we are sort of joint runners up, yeah, Paul, coinage-wise. We don't really count the cars, but they're a little bit of fun. Uh, we're going. Paul's found himself a few straight out of Fast and Furious. So here, take that. I think he's got a little uh, Porsche, a little something else, and I don't even know what that is. But yeah, they're looking good. But we're going on his coins. Uh, he's had, well, you had seven, Paul, weren't you? Yeah. So seven coins, not too bad. Not as many as we wanted, but better than nothing. Uh, we're going on the bleepers. I've got myself a little motor. Not sure what it is, but it looks quite flash. I wouldn't mind driving it about, but there you go. Uh, same as Paul on the coinage of it, seven coins. But I did have one little thing that was a bonus from everybody else. I found a gold bar. There it is. Oh, oh did I say gold bar? I meant Twix. <laughs> uh, it was gold in colour. My apron started going, but it was a Twix. Um, so, yeah, me and Paul, joint second, uh, 14 coins between us. So we can't grumble, mate, can we? No, can't grumble that. And guess what, guys? We slide along a bit. We slide along a bit. The old Jimbo's. Who's the winner? And guess what? He couldn't get a car to match us. No. Jimbo has to get himself a little skip lorry. Don't get me wrong. I quite like it. And he spent 10 minutes trying to find the skip. <laughs> Didn't you, mate? I did. <laughs> yeah. But we couldn't find the skip, so we'll take the lorry. Jimbo's got himself a little button. Um, again, quite unusual on the beach, Jim. Yeah. To be fair, it ain't a bad button, really. No, it got the heart going. Yeah. It is, yeah, he actually thought it was a nice little bit of silver, or a little silver ring or something, but there you go, a little button. But he's ended up with his little pile of coins, look, 10. All right, 10 is the, the one to beat today, wasn't it, Paul? It was. Well, and we didn't right. manage it, so Jimbo is the winner with his 10 coins. Like we say, guys, it ain't fines of the century, but... When I come back and, and you see it all together, we've had 24 coins, four cars, a skip lorry, and a small Twix. We can't go wrong. We will see you next week, guys. Take care. See you soon.